A man accused of driving under the influence and killing his 10-year-old son is expected to face a judge tomorrow. Emmanuel Camacho Patino is now being held on a $1 million bond. Our Rochelle Turner shows us how that community is remembering the victim. All day, we've seen people in the community stop at this makeshift memorial and pay their respects to the little boy who was taken too soon. Just off FM 2100 in Northeast Harris County, you'll see this makeshift memorial with balloons, flowers, and candles. It's for a 10-year-old boy who was killed in a crash Saturday night. He, he was just really kind. He, like, he cared about people and stuff. He's a good person. 12 year old Chance Lewis and his mother Robin stopped by to offer their condolences. We lived in his neighborhood and we I knew him because I went over to his house and played with him and his sisters and her his sister was like my best friend. She still goes to my school. Officials say the boy's father, 34 year old Emmanuel Camacho Patino, is now charged with his murder. Authorities say he was driving under the influence and heading north on FM 2100. His rear tire blew out, which caused his GMC Sierra pickup truck to roll over and go into a ditch. His son was in the passenger seat and was partially thrown from the truck. He died at the scene and officials say he was not wearing a seat belt. It seems like everything that could go wrong did go wrong in that situation. I spoke to Jeanette Fennell, president of Kids and Car Safety, who spoke about the importance of wearing seat belts and keeping children safe. If you have your seat belt on, it's very survivable. The Harris County District Attorney's Office says there are more than 1,700 open DWI and intoxication manslaughter cases. A judge said bond for Camacho Patino at $1 million. Fennell says they often hear about children involved in car crashes. When they die, 50 to 60 percent of them were either not wearing the seatbelt or not correctly restrained in a car seat. Camacho Patino's next court appearance is scheduled for tomorrow. His son's name has not been released. Reporting in Northeast Harris County, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.